Yo, Mamba Gang, Mamba Army, Laker fans, Kobe fans, basketball fans, and of course, best of all, the millions, thousands of my fans out there in the world, man. Welcome back, you guys. Another video. Happy Tuesday. We are on Tuesday today. It is just a little bit after the first week of the year, 2024, the Kobe year, man. Uh, but let's get right into it, man. Today, we had the drop of the Kobe hoodie, the Dats Mamba hoodies. We had one in black, one in gray, and we also had a t-shirt, a white t-shirt. Um, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a picture here on the screen somewhere. They were on the Nike app. They were not on the sneakers app. So uh, let me know uh, how you guys did today. Did you guys get a W and L? For the shirt, I believe they made a lot of shirts, so they're still available. They should be available on the Nike app right now. If you go on your search bar, uh, just type in Kobe and it should pop up. But I do believe size large has sold out. So uh, good luck if you haven't copped it. Go on your Nike app right now and try to cop it. If you are not a size large, I do not know exactly what sizes are left at this point though. Uh, but how did you guys do? Did you guys take W's all across the board? As far as for me, I took W's on two shirts and a hoodie. I got help on the hoodies. Uh, so I'm gonna just say that. So I did cop the black hoodie and the gray hoodie. I am gonna do a review on all that stuff once it comes in, in case you guys need some sizing information. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, and I'll let you guys know exactly the material, if it's cotton. Um, you know Nike products, man. Sometimes it's not the best quality clothing they have. So I'm not, I'm not asking or thinking these hoodies are gonna be the best quality or anything like that, but we'll see, man. But aside from that, man, you guys see the title of the video. I ended up getting the Kobe 4 gift of Mambas at resale price. I paid 350, uh, 350 for my size, true to size 10 and a half. Kobe 4 Pro Tools have fit me true to size, so I went with a 10 and a half. I'm actually on the way home right now from work, so I'm gonna get into that shoe when I get home. But I figured I'd let you guys know right now at the introduction. And I'm also gonna give you guys a look at the jersey, the all black jersey uh, that also came out with the uh, gift of Mambas. I believe that's a re-release, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken of that jersey. but. I'll show you guys right now when I get home what I'm talking about and uh, in case you guys have or want any information on sizing on the jersey, I'll give you guys all that. I'll try it on for you guys and see um, how the jersey looks on me. But yeah, man, just a quick video. I'll give you guys a little bit of a recap of what I've been doing. Um, obviously, I took an L. If you guys didn't watch my last video, go watch my last video. You guys should know that I took L's all for December. Uh, I did thankfully get passed down a pair of the reverse Grinches. Thankful, thankful for that. Uh, shout out to my homie uh, for that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video. Uh, but yeah, man, I had to pay resale for the gift of Mambas. It just, it, it was what it was. Surprisingly, the, and, and I mean, I mean, I am surprised that there was less pairs of the gift of Mambas, yet, the resale value is not as high as the reverse Grinches. So you know the demand for the reverse Grinches is there, which should tell you guys, man, if you guys do not have a pair of the reverse Grinches yet, I suggest cop one now because I do see that pair going up in price, man. I honestly do see that pair going up in price within time. I want to say same time next year, around this time, by Christmas time next year, or this year, I should say, that price, that the, that shoe is going to go up in price, man. So I do suggest you cop your reverse Grinches now before time flies and the demand uh, for that shoe grows and grows because there is going to be less DS pairs out in the market. But yeah, man, enough talking. Let me head home right now. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday start to the week, uh, starting your goals for this year and just being a better person, man. That mama mentality, as I always try to emphasize with you guys, man. Shout out to any new subscribers, any new followers on my Instagram, mambakicks.la, TikTok, mambakicks.la. Uh, but yeah, man, let me head home, show you guys my pickups, and uh, if I have anything else to add, I'll add it then. See you guys in a bit. Peace. 
Yo, what is going on, you guys? I'm finally, finally home. So, man, let's just get right into it, man. So, here you go, you guys. Here's the jersey that I was talking about. I am going to be trying that on. I did get a size large. I go large in all Nike tops. Um, so, here is the shirt that I was speaking to you guys about as well with that uh i believe this is called the mamba mentality or the gift of mamba shirt t-shirt now i was only able to get this in a medium uh, a local sneaker shop uh, near me actually ended up doing like a surprise release surprise drop randomly at like an evening last week and uh, i was only able to get a medium they ran out of large or they sold out in large so for this one i'm not gonna take it out of the packaging because i think i have a size swap planned out for sometime this week if i do get that size swap then i'll take it out and i'll give you guys uh I'll try it on give you guys some sizing information if you are looking to purchase this one because i believe this shirt is actually on stock x so i believe it dropped in price but it was pretty limited man i took l's on this one on the release day on the sneakers app so that's that and uh here are the shoes man so let's take a quick look at the box like i said true to size 10 and a half kobe 4 pro tro colorway black slash black university gold and let's take a look at these bad boys now man boom here you have them Oof. wow let me take both of these out just so i can get both of these bad boys out again nothing special black box uh regular white tissue paper mamba kobe logo at the top kobe signature with that of course that a uh, snake print mamba snake print on the box but let's take a look at these shoes man see how i'm gonna feel about these so uh first thoughts right off the bat i love them man i, I think i think they are better in person and on hand than in pictures um these do obviously have a really high resemblance to that other pair with that with that kind of also had that um the snake uh like texture on the toe box i don't know if you guys remember those came out a couple of years ago i'll leave a picture right here if you guys don't know what i'm talking about but they resemble those a lot other than these are just plain all black and of course just the kobe signature in that yellow and uh man i mean if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys already know that i love my loud uh colorways i love sneakers that stand out but to counter that i do love an all black shoe um it reminds me of a black air force one um you know you can match it with anything right now we are into into the winter uh you know season so black shoes dark shoes kind of are in around this period of the year and uh yeah man i believe i saw paul george wearing these last week and they looked amazing man of course i think other players have worn them already but they look fresh man they look fresh and then that nike or i mean that kobe logo mom below kind of stands out because it kind of has like a little like a little shine like a jewel shyness uh to it you know if you guys can tell right there but nonetheless man i mean i wanted this shoe um i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie when i first saw pictures it wasn't a shoe that i was like crazy crazy for i was patient on this one i wanted to get a fair price i did not jump and and try to you know have that uh fear of missing out and buy it right after release date because i took it now i took my time and 350 for a size 10 and a half i think the market is around that on stock eggs right now as of today um that is minus the fees minus the shipping minus the taxes so for me to get it kind of locally through a friend someone that i can count on being that he's not gonna sell me any fakes or anything like that i thought it was a good deal man so but i'm really happy with this pair man i'm not gonna lie i probably uh i mean i don't see myself doubling up on this one i just um i mean who knows man who knows you know you know what pair also i was a big fan of the one that was in the undefeated pack if i'm not mistaken 
um it was the kobe 4 all shiny and it had the little uh hints of like um off white right here at the midsole um and i was gonna double up on that one because i was a fan of the all black colorway even though it had hints of off white but i'm glad they came out with this ones and of course you guys you know i'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen the tons of reviews of these or you've already seen them in hand and they are made out of like this suede upper pretty soft um no real leather not even in the inside sock liner kobe logo right there does this one have the kobe logo yeah it has also the kobe logo and uh yeah man so how do you guys feel about these man like i mentioned earlier there's not a big uh demand on this shoe itself i think the reverse grinches even though they produce more uh, reverse grinches they had a much 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 higher demand the reverse grinches right now are sitting around 500 600 700 bucks for large heises um the reverse grinch is like i mentioned man <laughs> buy that shoe now it is gonna go up i guarantee it it happened with the regular grinches it's gonna happen with the reverse grinches i think more people from what i'm noticing love the kobe 6 model uh compared to the kobe 4 um but yeah man so on my next video i'll probably give you guys some on feed of this i'm not gonna do it today i just kind of wanted to make a quick update video and let you guys know some of the stuff that i've copped i will be making a um i will be making also another video separate video for all the stuff that i copped this morning the that's mamba hoodies the shirt give you guys some information on those uh you know as, as far as like the sizing and you know what type of materials if it's 100 percent cotton or on any of that but let me actually throw on this jersey in case you guys are wondering and want to purchase this i believe this is also in stock x let me give you guys a couple of information here so this jersey did retail for 120 and I, again i did go for a large there is the product code and um let's see what it says anything else here dry fit large or size 48 and uh you know what i actually if you guys remember man if you guys are 80s 90s babies and you grew up in the early 2000s era where jerseys were in and you know rappers were wearing long uh oversized jerseys you guys remember that nike had a bunch of jerseys coming out there in that era that were uh the swingman jerseys and i believe this one yeah this one also says swingman right there i i love these nike jerseys more compared to those hardwood classic ones that are being sold nowadays i do not like those hardwood classics they have that big big huge patch right here i am not a big fan of that but this jersey is beautiful i'm glad i was able to get it for retail i believe there was another version of this released last year if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong but i know there was another a similar version or if not even the exact same jersey released not too long ago so this one does have the number eight in the front and number 24 with his last name brian on the back and um it does have a little bit of an extra longer length in the back and of course you guys can already see it that print that snake that mamba print on the jersey so this is gonna go hard right there i could already see it but yeah man let me throw on this jersey real quick for you guys give you guys some if, oh i'm gonna show you guys how it looks on me i am 510 182 ish pounds i did go for a large but i'm hearing a lot of these new jerseys fit slim compared to the old school jerseys back in the 2000s so let me throw this bad boy on and show you guys how it looks on me and we'll finish off the video there again 510 ish 182 pounds this is a large and there's not much give man if i suggest if you guys are looking for more of an oversized look go maybe a size to two sizes even bigger i know the length will be a problem if you go uh, higher in size though because this is a large i do love the length i just do not like how it is pretty slim fitted around the waist area 
and then right here also they make these jerseys really slim to the your armpit under your armpit there's not much uh, room like the old school jerseys so just to give you guys a little bit a couple of uh information on that but large here it is boom and uh yeah i pretty much just threw it on i did not match anything with it uh i'll probably make another separate video as well with the jersey and the shoes this was just a quick jersey of my pick or a quick jersey a quick video of my pickups but here you have it man you know been working out a little bit you know what i mean so maybe that's why it fits slim who knows man but anyways you guys um let me finish off the this video right here and then just let you guys know man continue practice your mamba mentality i appreciate every one of you guys that keep showing up to my videos and supporting me whether it's on here or even on my instagram mamba kicks dot la tiktok mamba kicks la Thank you guys, man. Uh, 2024, Kobe year. Let's get it, man. Let's stop making excuses. Let's stop feeling sorry for ourselves. And uh, just, just go after our goals, man. And get out of our comfort zone. And just try a new hobby. Learn a new skill. Um, just be a better person overall, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, thank you guys again for the love and the support. Let's get it, man. See you guys next one. Peace.